Hey, what's up? This is Marcus from Machine City Audio, and today we're going to take a look at the Burnley 73 EQ by Sonimus, which is an emulation of the 1073 analog EQ. So I'm going to play you a few examples, go over some details, stick around. We have the high pass filter, which goes from 50 hertz to 300 hertz. We have the low shelf that goes from 35 hertz to 220 hertz. Next, we have the mid band, which is the bell style filter, which goes from 360 hertz to 7K. And we have the high shelf, which is fixed at 12K, which you can cut and boost. The red knob controls the saturation. Either move this to the left or right, that will determine the kind of saturation you get. For the mic saturation, you wanna to go to the left. And this is a more aggressive kind of saturation. Go to the right for the line saturation, which is a more gentle kind of saturation. And we also have the output knob, which you can use to compensate. Now below we have the show labels, phase, and EQ in. With the show labels, you can see that, you can see everything I'm doing as far as the mic. You can see that it's going up to 10, 15, 20. And you can see the amount of dB that I'm raising 12k now when you take the show labels off it doesn't show you any numbers you know it doesn't show you the mic or the line you can flip the phase if there's something that might be out of phase and the eq is to bypass the eq altogether now you can also bypass the individual bands by clicking the symbol above the band That was the Burnley 73 EQ by Sonimus. It is available now. I'm pretty disappointed in myself that I just got my hands on this, but there's so many plugins out there that I was finally able to get around to this, and I'm glad I did. It's a great plugin. I believe it is $60, 59 to be exact, but I say 60. But it's definitely worth that price. Um, you know, here at Machine City Audio, that's what we all about. You know, we look for high quality plugins for a great price and that's what you get with Sonimus. Now, the one thing I wanna add about this EQ is it is transparent and musical and it has a great tone to it. I push some of these bands to about six or seven dB and I was still getting a musical tone that wasn't harsh. So that says a lot about that EQ. So I wanted to put that in there and the saturation you know, that is great too, the saturation knob and how you can really apply that to the bass and get a nice tone. But anyway, I will leave a link in the description below if you wanna check these guys out and check out some of their plugins. You can do a demo of this. If you do, let me know what you think. Let me see how you use it. So once again, I am Marcus with Machine City Audio. Peace until next time.